Wow. Okay. A kid from East Oakland ran Def Jam. And just a normal kid, just a normal kid from, from East Oakland, rose at the age of early 30s to run the top hip hop label in the world. Now who could do that? Go to the street corner, talk to this cat. This is how the deal gonna go, wow, 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 wow. And then go to the boardroom and explain how the investment would make sense. Very few people got that skill. And that's what really made Shake special. Thank you. Now, unfortunately, L.A. Reid is in Atlanta tonight paying his last respects to Shakir Stewart, whose recent tragic death took away one of the lights of our world. Shakir didn't kill himself. Shakir didn't kill himself. That's all I got to say on that. Horrible police work. Horrible police work was done around his death. And everyone just accepted that it was suicide. Anyone that really knows the man know he's incapable of killing himself. It had to be something more to it. It goes a lot deeper than what we would ever understand. Shakir loved LA. And I think LA loved Shakir too. But something fishy happened somewhere along that line and, and shit got switched up. You know, I guess you could say there's probably a bunch of other stuff that we'll never know. The BMF stuff was rumored. The stuff about L.A. ain't no telling what else he was going through. People trying to, I know there was talk that some people was trying to kill him or that he knew information. He was being followed. Cars parked outside his house. His phone was being tapped. There's a lot of people in a position uh, to gain, maybe not gain financially, uh, but definitely gain. So who knows? It's still up there. I would like to know. If I do find out what happened, it's going to be some more dead bodies. Tell him that. Yeah, tell him I said that.